The US dollar has undergone quite an impressive reversal today, guys. What has been going on then? So two main things really. To sum up, month end flows, they were boosting the dollar earlier, and then the Fed, the Fed came out with more stimulus, and that has been a big hit to the dollar in the last couple of hours. So what are month end flows? Let's start with that. Well, pretty much at the end of every month and at the end of every quarter, which we are also at because it's the end of March, big asset managers, pension funds, you know, big financial institutions, often they have to buy and sell various different assets so that their portfolios uh, sort of reach certain requirements like risk or, or weightings between equities and bonds and different FX and stuff like that. So often what you get is some quite weird moves in the market that don't really seem to be linked to fundamentals. However, there are some very sophisticated mathematical people working at some of these, you know, some of these big banks, and they've built these nice models which can predict quite accurately what's gonna happen with these month-end flows. So we had a couple of sources telling us that the dollar was considered a buy going into this month end. So throughout the day, throughout the morning anyway, dollar was moving higher. Um, however, the Fed came out in the, uh, the sort of the early European afternoon and announced a big new stimulus program. So basically what they're doing is they're gonna let foreign central banks, which hold US treasuries in reserve, it's gonna let those banks exchange those treasuries $4, which will be issued by the Fed. So it's basically the Fed just flooding the market with more dollars. Remember guys, this is something that the Fed has been doing for a couple of weeks now. They've done unlimited QE last week. The week before that, they were doing USD currency swaps, which is basically now what they're doing is USD swaps for treasuries that are owned by the central banks. So basically, it's all just a way of increasing the supply of USDs, and what happens when you increase the supply of something? It reduces its value. So that's what the Fed is doing. They're trying to reduce the value of the, of the, uh, of the dollar. Guys, we are all over these fundamental themes. Check us out at Freak Network. That is it from me for now, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>